Okay, good morning, uh, good afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here today to share a success story with my Nutix installation. If you watched previous videos, especially where I had tried installing Conky and I said I tried different configuration files and I couldn't get any of them to work. Well, not one to be defeated. I continued working on it even though I don't normally run Conky. And I still couldn't get it to work. <laughs> I'm one of those who just likes to stab in the dark and just try things until I either figure it out or give up. And well, nothing I tried worked. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should go to the source and see if there's some clue that might help me. So that's what I did. I went to the GitHub page for Conky and decided I'd see if I could read something that might help me out. So let me type that in. Conky GitHub I thought this makes no sense that I cannot get Conky to work. I guess it just shows as you get older you get set in your ways and you just don't really want to admit that things don't work the way they used to. So I went to the GitHub page and I thought well let me see what they have to say. So I scrolled down and here's the readme document and I'm reading over this and I'm thinking there's nothing really that's helping me here and then I saw kaboom Conf configuration settings I thought well that looks interesting let me look at that so I clicked on it and I scrolled down up and I saw configuration file syntax 1.9 in earlier versions blah 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 1.10 and later versions and this hit me like a brick wall the new config file uses Lua syntax and I thought well maybe just maybe it would be a good idea if I look to see what version of Conky I had makes sense you know so I open my terminal and I put Conky dash V for a version and lo and behold it's 110.8 so that let me know rather quickly that I had to use the new syntax so basically I had to go through my whole conky file and basically work it over so that I could get it working again. Now if you noticed on that previous page, I hope it's on the previous page, yeah, user configs. I'm somewhat familiar with Lua simply for the fact that I had a uh, Mio Linux release that was using the awesome window manager and it uses Lua. So you can go through these and it it lists the conky conk files. Let's see if this is one. I can't remember which one I looked at. Yeah. Basically you have to re-edit nearly everything on here to get it to work. So that's what I did. Let me show you my conky configuration file. You see all this? Yeah, I had to re-edit all that. I have this commented out so it doesn't show. So let me just show you the conky actually working. Conky. 
and there we go here's my basic little conky I don't use conky much so I don't need a lot of information on it whoa my CPU is really eating it up while I'm screencasting isn't it so there you go sometimes it pays to actually read stuff oh yeah so that's it got conky working and I feel like I really accomplished something because it was dr it was uh, blowing my mind I could not figure it out on my own and I had to rely on the documentation of the actual people who make conky so you guys have a great day thanks for watching see you later thanks